Now I like to keep myself busy and especially in the winter time when it's cold out there. I'm not an ice fisherman so uh, this is something that I like to do is to do some repairs on some damaged uh, pieces of tackle or get some rigs set up for the spring. So one example is something like this jig head that uh, had a few knocks and bruises and so I'm going to repaint that so I'll show you a really quick and simple way how I paint these jig heads and put a new eye on it and just make it a little bit better. So is it the best way to do it? No. It's the cheapest way. I find it's the easiest way in general and it comes out pretty nice. So I go to my local Dollarama and I get something like this which is just some acrylic paint. Obviously you can use any kind of paint. You can just use some spray paint or anything like that. Um, I like to use the black and the white for the eyes and that's what I'm going to do for the jig. I'm just going to be painting it black as a base and the eyes are going to be white with a black dot. What the heck is the cap for? Nothing really other than to put the paint on top. And this is what I use as my paintbrush. I don't use a paintbrush. This is it. This is a toothpick. And the final thing as a clear coat, again you could spray a clear coat on or in this case I like to use something just as easy. It's uh, just super glue. This is an extra thin super glue so this one actually um, comes out more like water instead of like a gel. Um, so just whatever you have. Now obviously here I can use a paintbrush to get that on but this works reasonably well as well. It doesn't matter about this part as much here because really I'm just going to um, cover it up with whatever bait I'm using so it's not huge if I don't get this properly done down here. The brush would be a tiny bit faster but then you still have cleanup of the brush which again I know isn't much work but I just like keeping it really really simple. That's it, all painted up, and the best part is, is the cleanup is super easy. Now, we'll let this dry up, and then we'll put on the eyes. All we need is just a tiny bit of a drop. That's it. And I do put some thicker globs to make sure that there's enough paint on there. I use the fine tip of the toothpick just to make sure it goes on. It's kind of how I like it. Um, does it have to be a perfect circle? If you have issues, yes, it does have to be a perfect circle, but again, from a fishy point of view, that's probably good enough. So that's about it for that. And again, let this dry up. I forgot to mention I do use a hair dryer or a, in this case, I just had a heat gun here, so uh, to help to dry up the paint a little bit faster, and so I can move on to the next steps a little bit easier all dried up and basically we go back to painting the black center eye now. So I'll just take a bit of that black paint again and come in here. There. And next for the final step. Now while that jig head dries I want to show you some other things that I've been busy with and these are some of my new spoons that I've been making. Um, they're really quite interesting. Uh, I use a old hard drive platter. So this is a hard drive platter. I'm going to be making a video about how I do this. Uh, stay tuned for that one. But these are what they end up looking like. Um, so they're kind of, uh, again, interesting that uh, they're quite, quite flashy and shiny. So I kind of do like that about these particular jigs is how flashy and shiny they are. And of course I made them in various sizes. I'm going to be testing all these out in the spring and summer and let's see how they work. Uh, so I just made this one out of some popsicle sticks. So I had some colorful popsicle sticks. I thought, oh, that'd be interesting to, uh, to make into something and uh, that's it. And this final little doodad is just something I saw on another video. They called it a tea turn. I think it's called Thunder Mist Lures and they make this uh, kind of, I don't know, swivel attach this to the main line, uh, attach it to a weight like a drop shot or another hook down the bottom but basically this swivels back and forth so if you put a bait fish on there 
uh, you know the bait fish can swim around in a circle or you can put worms on there or anything like that and it's it has some freedom of movement there all right so this is the next step i have the jig head i have a little container on the bottom to collect any uh, drippings from the super glue what i'd have a do have is a hook here and that's to hang the lure and then i will just put the super glue on the jig head put one or two coats on it and uh, that's it this basically serves as the clear coat uh, for the jig head. I just used a little paper towel on the bottom to pick up any drips of the super glue that come down. So I'll put about, let that dry and then put about two coats on that. The super glue is quite, quite good on any of the lures that I use to protect the paint shop. So this is the finished product of another jig head that I repaired. And yeah, I think it looks pretty good. Nice simple technique. It actually holds up fairly well underneath uh, the bites of different fish. I find it only takes uh, between five to ten minutes kind of in, even with a drying time. Easy to do and very simple. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the spring when I start to use all my little lures etc that I've been trying to make. Spoons and little hard lures, crankbaits, that kind of thing. And, I'll, and oh I forgot one other thing was this. I made this little this is the ugliest fly ever but <laughs> this pipe cleaner feathers i found on the beach from a seagull and some goose feathers for the uh, tail so the, one of the ugliest things i think in terms of a fly that i've ever made i wouldn't even call this a fly this is just more of a joke but if this catches something you know what maybe i'm on to something Anyway, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next Ladybug Adventure.